Hey guys, how's it going? Alright. <clears throat> Getting set up here. Come on, Facebook. Taking forever. There we go. Copy, share. All right. Hey, what's up, Kim? How's it going? How's the baby? <laughs> this huh wow all right well sorry I'm just taking a minute to get going here I'm trying to share this this uh, post here there we go I'll share it public all right and share on my page okay all right now we're good to go sorry took me a while He's doing awesome. Cool. <laughs> hey, what's up, Bay? How you doing? I'm just trying to uh, trying to get this model out of the Valley of the Suck. <laughs> yes, yeah, we're we're trying. How's it going with you? Hey, Bay, I wanted to tell you. Uh, Try out Dreams on PS4 if you have one, if you haven't yet. It's really, really cool. Hey, what's up, Neil? All right. Hey, guys. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll try a little bit of color going on here. Just to help her a little bit. <laughs> yeah, climb out of the mouth. It's a, I'm, I'm in a pretty deep right now. <laughs> Hopefully I can. <laughs> oh man. All right. Man, she is pink ink. Pink, pink, pink. Super pink. Whoops. Oh yeah, Tenchi, no worries, no worries. Yeah, I think I think the eyes. Once I get her eyelashes on there and her all that kind of stuff, it, yeah, she'll come together. And then you know, once I get her like whatever this top is going on. Hey, what's up, Brennan? Yay! <laughs> oh man, how you doing, man? Oh yeah, Bay. Yep, yep. I've been messing with that. I, it's it's hard to get the camera to to move with those uh, move controllers. I've I've actually been uh, I've been using just the regular controller and having a little better luck with it. But we'll see how it goes. <laughs> Super cool though. All right. Yeah, no pressure, right? <laughs> All right. I'm just gonna kind of bring in some of that red. She's super pink. Let's let's uh, let me get some of that other color going on here. Maybe in her hair, her eyes, just to help a little bit. Okay, and I'm just gonna retop this. Uh, I'm trying to think if I just want to add a cylinder. I think I might just add a cylinder. <laughs> Her, her, her body's just kind of bubblegum right now. <laughs> bubblegum body. Oops, I don't want to have symmetry going. All right, we'll see if I can make this work. Just really quick.
All right. So how was everybody's weekend? Pretty good? Perfect. <laughs> oh, thanks. Lovely weather. It's supposed to warm up here in Utah and we have tons and tons of snow up in the mountains and I'm afraid it's going to all melt down to the valleys and flood everything out. It's supposed to get up to like 77 this in the next few days and it's just been snowing and snowing. Learning ZBrush slowly and I fall in love. Nice. Yep, it's fun to learn, for sure. Um, are you still only be able to see Twitch chat you figure out? Yeah, so the Kiwana, the, my, my restream chat is, it was having troubles. I actually watched some other streamers and it was, they were having troubles with it as well. So it wasn't just me, but they were kind of struggling with it. Um, Brendan, have you had any trouble with, with uh, restream chat at all? Hey, Angry, how's it going? So Brendan's another streamer here on the Pixelogic live streams. He's if you guys are into uh, realistic characters, like characters you see on, like say, Uncharted or Horizon Zero Dawn, Mass Effect stuff like that, I would highly recommend checking out Brendan's stream. He does fantastic work. The chat stopped updating completely. Oh, it's not even in here. Let me let me show it. Ba boom! There it is. I still had it hidden from last week. Sorry about that, guys. Thanks for bringing it up. There we go. <laughs> Schmoopy. <laughs> uh, Brennan, you cracked me up. Thanks, man. I'm going to insert a couple loops here. Just so I have a little bit more fidelity. <laughs> Let's see, slide, where's my slide? There you are. There's the chat. Yeah, I just had to un unhide it. It was just hidden because last week it was just a mess, so. Man, the difference in color between my two monitors is crazy. So. Down here on my Cintiq, it's very, very saturated. And up on my, uh, I have a Dell widescreen monitor up here. And it's just, it looks pale to me. Crazy. You haven't noticed any issues with Restream? So, yeah, Brendan, the, the chat was just, um, it just stopped working. It just froze last time. I tried to reset it. I tried to reset the Restream chat and it just, it wouldn't come back. And so um, then I finally got it to come back, but it wouldn't update in my OBS. So I was just able to read it over in Twitch and yeah, so it wasn't working very well. Yeah, I need one of those uh, uh, monitor calibrate, calibrate tools. You can calibrate the color, but they're expensive. I wanna find a place around here that allows you to, um, I think you can rent them and just borrow, like borrow them, kind of rent them. And then just calibrate your monitors and bring them back. I think the place I bought my Cintiq from actually has one. I need to go rent, rent it from them. It's like a camera place, local camera place. Yeah, thanks, Neil. Sorry you're having uh, appliance problems, Neil. That sucks. That's never fun. <laughs> Forgiving return policy. <laughs> I guess that's kind of like renting, I guess, right? <laughs> hey, what's up, Bofori? Okay. 
I mean, this is not the best. I'm just trying to get it to look good from the from the concept side. Not necessarily all three side or all sides yet. Concept side first, and then I'll try and figure out the rest. How do you select the edge loop with the mo Z modeler brush again? Oh, so it masks it out. Um, so basically you just use uh, transpose. So if I go into a Z modeler and I hover over an edge and hold down spacebar, just go to transpose and then do edge loop complete like that. And then click on it and then it will mask everything out except for that one edge. Is that what you're thinking about? Is that, is that what you were asking? Yeah, super handy. Which Cintiq, this is a 27. 20, is it 27? Yeah, 27. It's like the, the wider screen one from a, a couple years ago. Oh, you didn't know that, Brennan? <laughs> well, hang around, <laughs> learn something. Yeah, it's like you said, we're constantly learning ZBrush. There's always something new to learn every day. Crazy, crazy. So. Yeah, Brandon, if, if it's really cool because say I wanted to move um, like just, well, just a, a, a poly loop, something like that, or an edge loop, you can just, yeah, you can just use transpose. Um, I don't think, I think it only works on a single loop. I don't think you can add multiple loops, but you could like, you know, how you can grow and shrink a mask. You could grow it to its neighboring loops and then move it like that. But so like... I click on this well this one's going since there's a there's a pole right here it's going up and around but I could click on this one but yeah and then uh, then what you can do is just hit this little go to unmasked mesh center and it'll pop the gizmo right in the middle of that whole unmasked area and then you can move it around it's pretty nice so it's been a pain right now I get certain add on you get a certain ad on Facebook all the time. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> that's my that's my new ad. It's good to know it's working though. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna add some. I'm gonna just gonna try and get her eyes in there, just so he, she has an eye direction and start pushing it out. Let's see. It's kind of similar to slide. Slide will slide along the the actual surface of the object, right? But transpose. It's kind of nice because. Um, I usually use that if I'm going to scale something, you know, like scale a ring. I can scale that down in using the gizmo rather than um, Rorty. Where's Rorty? <laughs> anyway, rather than like trying to use um, scale inside of the Z modeler. It's pretty nice. Okay, so let me... Okay. I got to focus. I'm trying to focus. <laughs> I, get so, I get so distracted. Okay, before I do this, I'm gonna actually grab the color that the eye is. There you go, done. <laughs> why is it snapping down so weird? Okay, I don't know why. Why, why, why? There we go. Lurking for a bit. Awesome. How you been, Dan? All right. Hidden gems. You know, every I think every, all the streamers have their own set of hidden gems. There are so many hidden gems inside of ZBrush. See, I'm gonna hide these bits. Hey, UKV, how's it going? Thanks for hanging out, you guys. Let's delete.
I'm doing pretty good. We just had Easter weekend here. It's pretty good. Spent it up at my parents' house. Had some ham. Local symmetry. Uh, chocolates. <laughs> like hollow Easter bunnies, I guess. <laughs> I don't know why that's a thing. Hollow Easter bunnies. Whoever came up with that. Uh, why don't texture the eye? Because um, I would like to keep it editable. I like to be able to move it around. And if it's painted on there, then it's a little more difficult to move around. I'm in symmetry. <laughs> Brendan, you missed it last week. I was, I was struggling with this one, man. I still am. Sometimes models take longer to get appealing into that appealing state. <laughs> yeah, no worries. Um, sometimes I will, though. Sometimes I will texture the eyes. Um, sometimes I'll build them out, like in 3D, you know, actually like sculpt the iris and build it out. <laughs> Robert, yeah, true, true, I guess. Okay, let's get the... Uh, these eyelashes are interesting. Get those built out. <laughs> yeah, Ryan Kingsland's Valley of the Suck. It seems like I, I was saying that last week. It's like, uh, it's it's rare that my any of my characters don't go through the Valley of the Suck. You know what I'm saying? Like, there's always some point. They spend some time there. <laughs> okay. This is an this this is really interesting uh, eyelash shapes. I'm just gonna kind of over. Let's see, what am I trying to say? I'm going beyond what they're going to be, and then I'll then I'll bring them back. Let's see. <clears throat> Clear these out, do that again. <laughs> they just stay in the valley of the mediocre. That's what we were saying last week. <laughs> the valley of the mediocre. Okay. <laughs> um okay I think that's enough to 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 deal with there we go Hey, Ofori, um, I'm not looking at my email right now because I'm streaming, so I'll have to check it out later after I'm done. Um, that dude, Henry, nice name. <laughs> um, it's actually, uh, you, can, you can go pick it up right now. You can go enroll right now. It's open. If you just head over to uh, 3dcharacterworkshop.com and hit go to register, uh, let's see, I'll show you. So I've made a little presentation, like a little video to talk to you guys about what the course is all about. 
And that's right here. If you just click on this uh, Shane's Workshop right here and then watch this, then it, you'll, you'll get an opportunity to enroll after you watch that little presentation. So yeah, it is available right now. Dan, you're cracking me up. <laughs> okay. So now I'm just going to edit, edit this. Thanks, Tenchi. I just barely updated it too. So I'm, tr well, I'm trying to update it a lot, but I'm starting to add my stylized anatomy lessons which I've been wanting to add for a very long time. And I'm just getting around to it, finally. One of us. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I based it around the, uh, the way Pixelogic does, does their business. It's like a lifetime access kind of deal. Um, yeah, once in a while I do, once in a while I do coupons, but not, not very often. And not, yeah. Okay, let's see. Da -da. These are quite dark eyelashes. I guess they're purple. Okay. At least they're not completely black. Yeah, the presentation is also filled with student work. It's pretty crazy. You have a spendin? What does that mean? <laughs> <laughs> I need to figure out the name of the the name of the 3D character workshop community like uh the group Okay Somebody was saying Shane's army like Dumbledore's army <laughs> Oh, spending. Okay, I guess there's a there's a coupon account, <laughs> like like a Groupon. <laughs> yeah. What? <laughs> <In> me <laughs> like the scope in meat meat space. That's the first time I've heard of that. That's awesome. Meat space. <laughs> All right. Okay, I'm gonna. Extrude this out now. Let's see. Uh, extrude, polygroupal. Let's make some, give these eyelashes some thickness. And uncrease everything. We feature on extreme couponers. Oh man, I, I I hope not. I'm not a big fan. <laughs> I'm not a big fan of coupons, but I know people that are. Okay. Let's see. Trying to yeah, I want to make the top. I'll make the top stick out. Something like that. OK, 
Okay, let's see. I think I might want to do some support edges just for fun. Just to try it. That's pretty good. How's the weather? Uh, <laughs> you got yourself a Shane hat? Nice. It's totally magic. This is what this is what makes it all happen. <laughs> um what was I going to say? Oh, the the weather here is is it's warming up and it's been a pretty heavy winter here in in Utah. So, um everybody's kind of worried about flooding including myself. So, we'll see. We'll see how it goes. Okay. That works. I like this. I like this purple. <laughs> I don't know if it looks looks purple to you guys, but it's pretty saturated purple to me on my Cintiq. <laughs> you know, you know what, Dad? I was actually thinking about like maybe, maybe endorsing like you know, look, make, you know how you can do those like Shopify, T-shirts and stuff. Be fun to do like a, a sponsored, hat like this. <laughs> I call it my old man hat. Upside down. All right, let's get these eyebrows the right color too. All right, fill that. <laughs> Extra grumpiness, <laughs> you have to get off my property. <laughs> Much Tato. Much Tato? What does that mean? That's awesome. <laughs> A shiny. <laughs> Funny. Where'd my eyelashes go? There we go. Alright, I need to thin these out. Oh, much potato. Much tato. Awesome. How many 999 calls? What is that? Is that like 911? Shrinking this up. And how many of you are going to the ZBrush Summit this year? Are you going to make it this year, uh, Brendan? You better, my boy. <laughs> It's always a always a pleasure to hang out with Brennan at ZBrush Summit. You're planning on it, Angry? Awesome. Sweet. Oh, now that you're local? Nice. Sweet. Yeah. Oh, Free, I think if I took my hat off, I couldn't sculpt anymore. <laughs> Mirror. Or is it this? When is the ZBrush Stomach? Stomach? Summit? Um, it is in Hollywood, California. Hey, Igor, how's it going? Thanks for stopping by. ZBrush Summit 2019. Wherein is it? It hasn't been announced yet. Um, yeah, I don't know when it is. But last year, 
I think it was September 28th and through the 30th. So yeah, it's usually in September. <laughs> okay, I gotta, there's a whole bunch of fixing I gotta do on this. Like her forehead is way too far, way too steep. What did I do? Oh, they're there. Okay. <laughs> I don't know where her eyebrows went. There they are. <laughs> they just left. It's like, we're out of here. Traveling from Norway? Oh, yeah. There's a... There's people that, that do it. There's like... Uh, my... my Yeah. There's a whole bunch of people that come from all over the world to, to come see that. Crazy. Some friends from Belgium, the UK. Norway is quite far. <laughs> okay. I think I might add one more loop around. Let's see. Ah, dang. I don't, I don't have a loop that works for these lips, but they are some round cheeks. Yep. I'm just, I'm just trying to get everything in place so I can react to it and then I'll fix it like now. Um, what do you recommend to send to print resin little figure? Uh, there's, there's one called Shapeways that you, they, they, they print in resin. They do a pretty good job. Um, LA is famous for fresh air in the summer. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Well, thanks so for you. I'm still trying to get it closer to the ref, though. I, I really want to get it there. Um, let's see. Thanks for all your great tutorial and sharing your knowledge. You are welcome. If you have a question, my final character after I finish sculpting it in ZBrush and ready to export to Maya. lip there and I need to fix her nose what's going on with that nose it can take a while to print and ship I've never used them personally I just know that if you don't have a printer yourself or there's a maybe you guys can help me out remind me of the service that helps you look up people that are local that have that own the printers that you it's like a it's like a hookup service for 3d printing <laughs> it's like the tinder of 3d printing but it's like uh you can find people that own the printers that you want to print out your stuff on and then you can go to them and ask them how much they would charge to print your thing and it's since it's local you don't have to pay for shipping and stuff like that i just can't remember the name of the service I'm gonna move her eyes just so to make her looking to the left. <laughs> Don't forget to add ears. So yeah, ears ears have so much variety that I and same with anything, right? I I'm always afraid to actually add um, like base meshes to an insert multi mesh because it will then in turn it will influence your your art, right? Because you're going to start with a hand or an ear or something like that. And you'll be like, well, it's going to, it's going to start in this location and look a certain way. 
And so in the end, if you're not, uh, if you don't push it hard enough, it's gonna, it's gonna influence your design. So I tend to avoid giving out models like that. And for that reason, okay, I'm gonna give her some, give her some teeth. Hey Oswald, how's it going? Well, thanks for stopping by. Okay, Ram S, what are you saying? Okay, is the perspective look the one that gets exported? I mean, should the final look be in perspective or not? It doesn't matter, It because that's just a camera setting. Perspective is just your camera. The model is not gonna change between ZBrush or Maya. It's going to be the same, same, same. It's just your focal length on the camera is gonna change the look of your model when you go to render it, or the camera focal length in your game, your game engine or whatever, wherever your model is, the perspective is gonna change based on the, the camera, if that makes sense. So it's not gonna change the model either way. I like working in orthographic inside of ZBrush because when you go to select things, it's gonna shoot all the way through the model. If it's in perspective, it's kind of warped. So when you uh, mask through your model or something like that, you might select something you don't want to. Um, but I will check perspective every once in a while, like this. And you can, I've, this is my user interface that I give away for free over on my website, and I've added all the camera stuff to this custom, this custom menu that pops up um, in my user interface, and you can select these different camera perspectives. Can you guys see that, how it's changing? So I like to keep it at about 50 or 35, something like that, and then just check my perspective and then turn it off and get, you know, go. You just have to kind of keep that in mind when you're when you're working on your model. I just noticed she has way too much volume in her hair right here. Hey, what's up, Douglas? Well, welcome. Welcome, welcome, new to the channel. And I had a question about stand for tables. You got an Ergo 27 QHD stand but I've been checking out people with adjustable arms, which works better to avoid back issues when working long hours. So um, the arms are pretty good, but the, if they're not sitting on a surface, if your Cintiq or your, your screen is not touching a surface underneath it, it tends to bounce when you're, when you're uh, doing your sculpting or drawing or whatever it is. So you want to make sure that it's sitting against something. Um, the ergo arms work pretty well otherwise, right? Because you can put it at wherever you want. This one is on a stand. So this one is on a, a Wacom stand that, that Wacom makes. Um, and then I have it sitting on a, a, a desk that is, uh, I can change, it's a standing desk. So like I can make it go up and down like this. <laughs> but as you can see, my microphone and stuff will move up out of the picture. So if I'm going to be streaming, I either have to be standing or sitting, and then I have to adjust my camera. So usual, I've done some standing streams, and it works. But standing helps your back a lot, like standing up to your screen. But those ergo stands do the same thing if you don't have a standing desk. So it's, it's kind of up to you. But um, I don't know if those ergo stands, how, how stable they are, or if they shake or move around or anything like that. So, all right. Hope that answers your question. And her hair is still really high on her forehead. I'm going to move that down more. I hope that answers your question. <laughs> so you say this is the closest perspective field of view in ZBrush that is kind of equal to the Maya standard perspective view. Um, I don't know what the standard camera is in Maya. Maybe you guys can help me out. Is it like 35? Do you guys know? It's like 28 or 35. I'm trying to remember. Um, so, but the, the, you can now export the camera out of ZBrush into Maya via FBX or GoZ, I think, and the camera will go over and the, the perspective will match now uh, from, from ZBrush 2019. That's a new feature they added. So hopefully, I mean, there are some extreme cases where it won't, but uh, for the most part, it should, it should match.
Okay, I'm gonna just paint some more color in here. Oh, thanks, Tenshi. I appreciate it. That means a lot. Give her shoulder some pink. Her neck under there. I really like the color choices. And then those I don't I'm gonna try and paint the lips, but I don't I don't think it'll hold the edge very well. Isn't she supposed to look slot sideways? Yeah, I just haven't moved them yet. Hey Angelo, how's it going? Yeah, I'll check it out and I'll I'll email you back. Thank you very much. So yeah, poly paint is based off of how dense your your model is, and since the it's 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 very low, it's like this low. This is this is my model, so um, it's not going to accept the uh, the poly paint very well because it's so low. So I'm just going to kind of paint it as good as I can. Turn off symmetry. Oh, I'm getting it. Since I have these two, so these two lopes, loop lopes, these two loops are pretty close together. So I can paint on them. I'll do that one. See how, see how that looks for now. It, like later on when I actually add real subdivision levels, I'll paint the lips and make them look nice. But for now, the lopes, paint the lopes. Okay, now I'm gonna give her some teeth. With cylinder, just one big tooth. Yeah, no worries, Ram. Yeah, if you look up some uh, some of the 2019 features and look up cameras, they talk about matching the the focal length on on, on more than one program because you can take it to like Keyshot and Maya and 3D Studio Max and all those, and it should, for the most part, it should match. That's what they were trying to get it to do. Okay, it's a little, a little close. Uh, yes, I'm using a, a Cintiq, a 27 inch Cintiq. Hey Brendan, are you still around? I was just I was just curious cuz I think you you work on a Cintiq too, right? You're an Intuos guy? Oh, you're on a tablet? Yeah, I was a I was a tablet guy for years and years and years. Yep. Yeah, I it's actually just right outside my office sitting there. I have a, a one of those larger ones. Um I just got spoiled with a, a Disney they gave us 24 HD Cintiqs and I just loved talking about backs and saving your back, right? I I loved being being able to pull the Cintiq down into my lap so I could keep my back straight 
And then the reason I developed this user interface is so I could reach everything without having to reach my keyboard. So all of the control shift and alt and everything I needed was uh, assigned to those buttons on the top left and right of that HD. And I actually miss it. I miss my 24 because it no longer has those buttons. Instead, it has a remote, which the remote slides around on here for some reason, and I can't I can't really use it properly. So I need to I need to try and and try you know try using it again to see because Justin Gobi Fields is like, why don't you just assign like multiple hotkeys to that thing and just kind of hold it in your hand and use your thumb or whatever. I just I don't. I'll have to try it again. <laughs> Mostly because you haven't actually used one. Now the only difference, honestly, between a Cintiq and an Intuos, the only difference is the, the slight disconnect between your monitor and your tablet. So for example, and I only, I only notice it every once in a while, like when I'm trying to do a really, really fine curve in a specific location, right? Even with lazy mouse on, I'll have to draw that curve a few times to get it correct, right, with a, with a tablet. But with a Cintiq, I can see it, it's one-to-one, -one, and I can draw that curve like pretty much the first time, almost, almost always the first time, if that makes sense. But honestly, that's the only difference. So it, it will speed up your, your production process, but it doesn't make you a better artist at all. It's just, you know, it's not gonna, it's not gonna help you other than speeding up your process. That's it, that's it. What is Lazy Mouse? Lazy Mouse is, um, I, I, I kind of explain it like it's a string that connects your mouse to the brush. And it's like dragging a rock through sand on a string. So it just makes your, your uh, line a little more precise because it, get, it has a little more give to it. And you just turn on Lazy Mouse. <laughs> Retired Mickey. <laughs> So you just hit L, you can see it right here, lazy mouse, and you can turn lazy mouse on any brush. So I'll just show you on chisel. Let me just subdivide this hair up a little bit. Turn dynamic off. Okay, so, so like with this chisel, lazy mouse is on. See if I drag a ways, see that red line coming out from my mouse right there? and see how it's not making the brush move at all until I hit the length of that, of that red line. As soon as I hit the length, then it starts dragging the brush. So it's like dragging a rock through sand, you know, with a string. Yeah, super cool. Anyway, all right. Whoops, where was I with my hair? Like there, something like that, okay. Now while I'm here, I'm gonna grab, I wanna, I wanna make this little triangle hanging down in front of her ear. Oh, I gotta delete my subdivision levels. Do I have any? There, I have one. Okay, go away. Lazy mouse. Just give her a little tooth right there, right? <laughs> Looks like a shark tooth. Shark tooth. <laughs> it's like smoothing on Photoshop. Um, I think Photoshop has a lazy mouse-ish type option. I don't know if it's called smooth or not. Let's see, I want to drag this down in front of her ear more. But yeah, he, heed my words, all you beginners out there. You, you do not need a Cintiq to start. 
just just do me a favor and don't sculpt with a mouse. Like, don't sculpt with a mouse. Use some sort of input device that has uh, levels of pressure. That's the only thing. It doesn't matter if it's a Wacom Bamboo or some off-brand something or other. It doesn't matter if it's a Surface Pen. Just something that has levels of sensitivity so you can vary your, you know, how, how deep that you cut into your model with. Because a mouse is 100%. It's either on or it's off. There's no in-between. That's why it's, it's very difficult to sculpt with a mouse. And you're not doing yourself any favors, but you don't, you don't need a Cintiq. This is, this is like after years of saving up and yeah, you don't, you don't need one. So don't think you need, is a mouse that different? Yes, it's, it's completely different. Think about a car and a gas pedal, right? What if, what if a gas pedal in a car, it was either off or it's completely 100% on? all the time. There's no other choice that you get, right? Would you would you drive that car? No. <laughs> you wouldn't. You wouldn't. You want a gas pedal. <laughs> you want a gas pedal. Okay. I I need I'm going to re I'm going to Z remesh this to add some more detail to this hair because I want to I want to give I want to make this cut right here um, I'm trying to I'm trying to decide how I want to make that because I could just turn on sculptors pro mode and just just hack it in there and then Z remesh it I might just do that why not yes it is important see Brennan is singing the same <laughs> you you ha if you want to get into digital sculpting you have to have a tablet or a pen with pressure sensitivity something okay <laughs> let me see I think I'm gonna just turn on sculptress turn off dynamic Subdivide at once, get rid of the subdivision level. <laughs> there you go. Wise words spoken. <laughs> the only thing more important than your tablet is your computer. Yep. Before you, I don't know, I need to talk to him. I just need to, I've been, I've been super busy lately, so I need to ask him if he still wants to, if he's interested. Dude, Brennan, I've been talking to Brennan about doing a, doing the collaboration too. Oh, nice, Peter. That should work. That's what I'm saying. Just get whatever you can afford at the time. You don't need the fanciest thing, you know? It's not the it's not the pencil that makes the artist. But you do need a pencil. Well, something. <laughs> something with pressure sensitivity. That's all. Yeah, we got a collab. We need to figure out how to do it. Like you know, do you show both screens on like a a Skype session or does somebody else stream to their stream and I stream to my stream and we're I don't I don't know how that would work. It totally needs a co-op mode, right? That'd be awesome. Okay. I want to do I'm going to use this Brendan, you ever use Tessimate? Tessimate. Collaborate. Twitch has squad mode now. What is that? There's squad streaming? Oh, it requires both parties to be partner. I'm not partnered, but Brendan is. Bamboo? Bamboo should work great. Both have to be partnered. That's really dumb.
fucking streamed. Okay, so this is what my mesh looks like. It's kind of, my mesh is a mess. So tessimate. All right, Brandon. Tessimate. Let's do it. Okay, that works. That just essentially re rebuilds the surface with a few triangles here and there, but it kind of evens out my, my Sculptus Pro topology. You have a, a random question. Do you know of an automated quadrangulate style function built into ZBrush? Yes, it's called Z Remesher. That's, that's pretty much what Z Remesher does. Okay, I'm gonna smooth this out. It's pretty slow now. Since I tessimated, it's pretty slow. Let me try going down a little bit. There we go. That should that should work. Oh, that's because I have dynamic turned on. You don't want to have dynamic turned on when you're doing Sculptress Pro mode. Because triangles do not like to uh, subdivide at all. Okay. <laughs> you love folders? Oh man. Yep, folders are the best. The best. Get rid of that lump right there. Why Tessimate and not Dynamesh? Because I'm using Sculptress Pro Mode and Sculptress Pro Mode uh, is essentially triangles and um, Dynamesh creates quads and triangles and Dynamesh will kind of merge stuff together where Tessimate will not. So Dynamesh would have merged this piece and this piece together and this piece. So right now these are still, uh, they it, let me keep the poly groups and they're still in separate objects. They're not combined together. It's a great question though. Okay, let me do inflate. And I'm gonna turn Sculptress Pro mode off on this one. Just inflate that together. Okay. Let's inflate this down here. Right, right, but I just, I'm, a, I'm not a fan of, um, yeah, you can do that for sure. But I guess I'm not a fan of Dynamesh when it comes to using it in, in conjunction with uh, Sculptress Pro, that's the main thing. And also uh, to keep the surface resolution in with Dynamesh, you kind of have to go higher than you need to a little bit. <laughs> yes, if I was to subdivide the hair right now, I would not want to do that. That's not what I want. <laughs> Yeah, it just kind of, it's almost like a decimate. A te it's really its really weird that they have both those words, right? Decimate and tessimate. They, <laughs> it's like Tweedledee and Tweedledum, but they, uh, yeah, like decimate will reduce and tessimate will just kind of um, even. It'll make even triangles across the surface. Where decimate will just kind of uh, remove a whole bunch of geometry, so you can send it to a 3D printer and stuff like that. Okay, I'm gonna save this out.
Before you, what's my favorite music? Um, I like all music, but uh, when I'm working, well, I usually listen to like 80s synth <laughs> or uh, like modern synth, like um, like BT and uh, I'm trying to think of who I listen to. I love Daft Punk and just stuff like that. And then sometimes I'll listen to movie soundtracks if I want to feel epic when I'm sculpting or something. <laughs> I don't know why. No, I just like to listen to movie soundtracks sometimes. Cascade is another one with a, with a K. Cascade, that one's really good. Because they don't have many words, so I don't have to sit and concentrate on you know what they're what they're singing or saying. I can just listen to the music. And I like ambient kind of uh, electronic music. Hey, Sophane, how's it going? Yeah, Stranger Things style for sure. I love that soundtrack. Oh my goodness. Love it. Well, thanks, Moet. Appreciate it. It's not quite looking like the concept as much as I'd like it to, but the appeal, I think it's looking appealing, which is important. Yeah, new season in July, right? That's pretty interesting because they were they would typically release around Halloween, but now this this season it's July, which is kind of cool. Thanks, Rima. Appreciate it. Oh, no, that's that's a good idea, Vector Ride. Listening to anime music because you don't understand the words. But anime music is either like 80s ballad style, you know, like 80s ballad or like, J what is it called? J-pop, where it's like really high-pitched female, da, 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 you know, that I, I can't have it be kind of uh, overwhelmingly like boom, boom, boom in my head. Yeah, Allison, you're probably right. Yep, I'm just kind of waiting... I'm just kind of pushing it as far as I can, you know, before before I start to to move, well, pose the eyebrows and stuff. Oh, thanks, Bob. How'd you get the name Bob in YouTube? That's unique. <laughs> I mean, I, I would think it'd be taken, but you got it. Not how did you get the name Bob in general. <laughs> that sounds funny. Try Lofi music? Lofi? Free copyright streams. Um, I use, like on the streams, I use Pretzel. Have you heard of Pretzel? And that, that has some pretty good stuff and that's all license free so I could... Uh, yeah, this one right here, the pretzels, what it looks like. Um, it does all right. Pretty cool. But yeah, I'll have to check that out. Luffy is good. Cool. Generally used to triangulate a NURB surface. Huh. Um, how would you handle shapes on a concept that you aren't certain what ex exactly they are? Like that purple thing behind her ear. It's probably a flower, but who knows? Well, I heard somebody ask her and she said it was a comb, like a, like a hair pick style comb. So, um, but to answer your question, not knowing what you do is just your best guess. And if you have access to the concept artist, you ask them. Like what, what, is, what were, was the intention behind this? And if you're working at a studio that is actually um, 
uh, employing that concept artist, you can ask them even maybe for another drawing of it if they would, you know, if they have the time to do it. So that's kind of nice. Uh, but if you don't, you just kind of make it up and just figure, you know, just say, what is that? I think I'll just, you know, what it, I just kind of did it during the, during one of my student only live streams where I was making a boot and the, the leather just wraps around really weird and doesn't make sense. So I kind of had to make sense out of it and redesign it to make sense in 3D. So sometimes you just have to use your best guess and experiment with it and, and try and figure it out. So, okay. <laughs> You're good at making stuff up. Okay. I'm going to I'm going to put her uh her neck thing on. And I need to adjust her neck. So, uh, yeah, so Fane, you're, you're right. I need, I do need to adjust that neck for sure. Cause there is too much negative space. So in here, if you can see this space, right? This space right here. And then if I measure it on mine, it's much bigger, right? So I need to, I need to shrink that down probably by raising up her shoulder. which will in turn reduce the length of her neck. Yeah. Hey, what's up, Glenn? Thanks so much. Reduce her jawline a little bit. Okay. Let's get in there and draw that thing on her neck. Turn off symmetry. I'm gonna solo this. And just so we're not distracted, I'm gonna hide everything except for this. <laughs> okay. Luffy comes from music which was played when radio stations switch shifts or to another station in Internet became popular because it helps relax. Concentrate during the work. Modif Modern Luffy channels are also streaming topic music like anime, hip hop. Okay, nice. I'll have to check that out. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Tato. <laughs> Sorry, that's horrible. <laughs> but yeah, seriously, I appreciate it. That's cool. I'm gonna see if I can do the drag the line off. Whoops. There we go. Yeah, that worked. So what I just did there was I lined up my camera and you can start your line and drag it off of your model and then hold down shift and it'll put a ring around your model like this. Then you don't have to sit and go draw, 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 draw all the way around like I did the first line. I always forget about that option. I'm gonna try it one more time with the top line. Oh, it's not working. Sometimes it doesn't work because your camera can't quite figure it out. <laughs> yeah, it's good for precision loops, but like I, you just saw, it doesn't always work specifically. <laughs> it doesn't always work well. So you just do what you can. And if you ever have a dot like this, um, <laughs> yeah, right, Dan. <laughs> if you ever have a dot like this, make sure you draw through it. Otherwise, you'll have a kind of a rogue dot and it won't fill in your squares. Yeah, Dan, Dan, I just I just remembered when somebody mentioned it during one of my last streams. I'm like, they're like, why don't you use the thing where you just drag it off and do the thing? And I'm like, oh yeah, I totally forgot about that. <laughs> oh, some there's there's just too much to ZBrush, too many things. Whoa, what in the world? 
Why did it make it white? That's weird. What did it do? Look at it's like it made a new group. I don't even know what what. Okay. I, I don't understand what just happened. Like what whatever it just did is like cuz what I tried to do was I turned my draw size down to 1 and then clicked on the surface to do this. I wanted to make everything masked off except for that collar thing. It projected the loop into the base mesh. That's really crazy. I've never seen that before. I want to see if I can do it again. So it's hidden like this. Let me see if I can do it. It did it. Look at that. What in the world? I've never seen that before, but it's all skinny. It's not the size of my the collar thing. It's just really bizarre. Okay, well, learned something new today. Come on, there it goes. <laughs> so, so weird. Okay, now split unmasked points. There we go. That's what I wanted. Grab that, fill the object, that purple, and then I want to edit this, these dots here a little bit so they're more even. And then extrude. <laughs> Brennan, or, or accidentally, like, that was more like a WTF, you know? <laughs> I don't know that I'd ever use that, ever. <laughs> What's happening? Squeeze that down. Um, uh, it's Esop Tuna. <laughs> Sorry, what is your name? I'll just call you Tuna. <laughs> anyway, uh, the difference is um, personal preference. Uh, the reason why I like to draw it on there is because I can keep it way lower than if I were to Z remesh it. So, yeah, it's super duper. It's just preference. I, I like to keep them low because now it's just it's this low, right? It's really low and I can keep it smooth and I can edit it really easy. That's why I like to you draw it on. It's a good question though. When's my birthday? Um, August 25th. August 25th. I, I share my birthday with... Uh, oh, what's his name? I can't even remember. The celebrity. Wow. I'm I'm old, that's what. Because I can't even remember. I feel like ZBrush creators hide things on purpose? Like what? <laughs> like that? I just hid her hair on purpose. You mean techniques? They like hide techniques on purpose? Um, I do share my birthday with Disney World. It was, it was, uh, it started in, it was, it was opened in 1971. That's when I was born. All right, let's extrude this out. I'm trying to remember, what's his name? 007. He was the first James Bond. He talks like this. <laughs> that guy. He was, he was in the Indiana Jones uh, 3. Raiders of the, or Indiana Jones 3. Gosh, I can't remember his name. Once I say that, you guys will be like, it's this guy.
think I'm going to uncrease this and keep it smooth. All right. <clears throat> and I'm going to fill her eyes with, uh, or her, her irises with a toy material just to try and get that highlight on there. That's kind of fun. Let's go to toy plastic. See that highlight right there and just fill it. I got to switch over to material, fill it, then switch back and then switch back. Sean Connery. I think my uh, I think my chat just crashed. It did because I can still see chatting over on uh, on Twitch. Yeah, chat just died. The day chat died. Let me load it up again. See if it'll pick it up. Yep, Gene Simmons. <laughs> I share a birthday with Gene Simmons and Sean Connery that's his name Sean Connery there we go okay now I think yeah we're back to poor man chat so let me uh, let me hide the restream chat and I'll pull my chat box over here's our poor man chat <laughs> Oh man, thanks Restream. They're having troubles with that thing, man. Whatever. Oh well, that works. <laughs> Sean Connery. Her eyes are too... I need to make them uh, not so long. like this maybe and make them taller I need to give you cake why because you figured out Sean Connery <laughs> I like my martini sh shaken not stirred Sorry. <laughs> he has a fun he has a fun voice to try and mimic. Junior. <laughs> we named the dog Indy. <laughs> I just keep going on. Clinton. <laughs> uh, Clinton. <laughs> I, I got to listen to him first before I do it. So, Fane, yeah, I'm still working on it, man. I'll get there. I'll try anyway. One thing at a time. <laughs> do the whole stream as Sean Connery. <laughs> I'd laugh too much. I couldn't. Are you no? Are you lame? Jeez, don't be so hard on yourself, man. Do a cosplay, a cosplay stream. <laughs> Sean Connery. 
Never too old. Nope, I'm I'm 47. I'm still in the industry. <laughs> they remesh this tool. <laughs> they remesh this sub tool. He'd say sub tool. I love the uh, the 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 guy on Saturday Night Live <laughs> that, that does a good Sean Connery. I can't, I can't repeat what he says because it's pretty. Oh, I'm on Sculptress Pro mode with this stuff. It's not where I want to be. <laughs> oh man, I'm saying it to myself in my head, but. Yep, there you go. You can start whenever, just start. Celebrity Jeopardy, yep, that's it. <laughs> Alex. <laughs> oh man <laughs> oh, I'm just laughing to myself because of what he says go check out Celebrity Jeopardy if you want to know what I'm talking about I'm gonna poof her lips up just a little bit more. Pressing NR2? What are you talking about, Dan? Does not do anything? What are you trying to do? Yeah, I'll take James Bond for 300, Alex. <laughs> hey, what's up, Sean? You have to create the hotkey. Oh, so you're talking about for the for the menu to pop up, this menu right here? So, Dan, what you have to do is you have to go to the menu up here, see how it says 3D Character Workshop if you're using my custom user interface. And all you have to do is hold down Control plus Alt and then click on it and you'll see it says press any key combination to assign a custom hotkey or press Escape to quit it. So, so after you do that, then you push the number two on your keyboard and that will assign the number two to your, to your key. And then test it to make sure it comes up like this. Then what you can do is you can assign, if you're using a Wacom tablet that has a button like this, you can assign the number two key onto the back button right here. Then where, wherever your pen is, that menu is gonna pop up behind your, your pen. Super cool. There you go, yep. Sean saying the things. Sylvester <laughs> Stallone. Yep, that's how you do it. Let me know if, you, if, if that helps. And then when you're done, when you close out ZBrush, it'll ask you if you wanna save your hotkeys and you say yes, and then it'll save them. Then next time you open up, uh, open up ZBrush, it should just be there. Okay, let's, uh, I'm gonna save it and then just pose her in the, I'll just try and like pose her eyebrows and make her look to the side. I don't really need, necessarily need to go into uh, T-Pose Master to do this. You didn't really break in until you were 34? Things that you drink from, a leather glove. Oh, funny. <laughs> Come, <sh> <laughs> I can't, I can't say it, I'll get in trouble. Pixelogic will be like, dude, you can't say that. Okay, so I'm gonna pose these eyebrows first asymmetrically and try and get them where they need to be. And then I'll I'll mess with the hair and all that all that business. Kind of a super straight eyebrow.
Okay, this, I don't know if you guys can hear it, but this music sounds like church music. And it's no longer Sunday, I'm fast forwarding. <laughs> if you're gonna... <laughs> a leather glove, Alex. <laughs> I like that he played a dragon. Can't remember, like, the last dragon. I am the last dragon. <laughs> okay, let's see. Yep, no problem, Dan. Okay, let's put these in their own groups. Dragon. Dragon hot. <laughs> yep. Okay, so now I need to... These are the eyes. It's kind of... Dennis Quaid? Maybe. Okay, I'm going to put this in, try and get it in the center of this eyeball and then just kind of swing it around this way. Whoa, I have too many heads in here. Okay. No, it was the last drag. What was the last? It was the last dragon. <laughs> Randy Quaid. <laughs> oh, you guys are killing me today. <laughs> Every time I think of Randy Quaid, I just think of uh, Christmas Vacation. Where he's like dumping. <laughs> Did I lose Facebook chat again? You think? I think you're right. I'm going to restart it here. Come on, restream chat. You can do it. Man, I might have lost chat altogether. Come back. Okay. Let's try it again. You can do it, little chat stream. Okay. That was a pretty good guess. Pretty close. Maybe a little too far. I want to widen her eyes out now. <laughs> the little chat that couldn't. <laughs> yeah, an Independence Day. Right. Okay, I'm going to mess up her eyes because I want to put more space in between them. Like that. Which will mess up her right eye. Are you listening to two? <laughs> yeah, 20 second delay. So yeah, YouTube has a 20 second delay for sure. Sir Billy? I have not. I've only seen him in like uh, Indiana Jones part three. <laughs> and like, what's the, what's the one uh, on the submarines that he was on the submarines? Was it Oct Hunt for Red October? I'm trying to remember. Is he good in Sir Billy? Hunt for Red October. Yeah, there you go. 
hunt for Red October. <laughs> Was he in The Rock too? Oh my gosh, he's been in several things. since I watched that one. Okay, her eyes messing up. Okay. It's cheated. It's cheated because it's in perspective, but it's got some stuff going on I got to fix. I'm breaking it. Making her brow match her eyebrows here. Look at that space. <laughs> little people. <laughs> McGill and the little people. Was he in that? Holy cow. Or is it oat? <sighs> hey, what's up, Chris? Time bandits. All right, Sean, I will. I'll check it out. Oh, I forgot it was in Highlander. mess her face up from this side trying to get that to look good it's like somebody's grabbing her lips like mm. <laughs> Glenn how many years have I been using ZBrush probably about six if I were to guess All right, let's see if I can get that hair looking better. He was supposedly from Spain in the island. <laughs> yeah, Scott, the Scotland part of Spain or whatever. <laughs> That's hilarious. Let's see, I wanna make it flip. Down around. I 
miss the 80s style movies. That's why I think the um, the Stranger Things is so well received is because it's it's like an ode to that style of the we don't care about it 80s. Really cool. Ramirez? Christian Slater. <laughs> Something to the rest. <laughs> yeah. A Russian with a Scottish accent. Yeah, why not? And a dragon with a Scottish accent. I played a dragon in my last movie. I think I might cheat these uh, these eyes, bring them down just a little bit. <laughs> cheat. Sorry, you guys keep yapping. I'm just sculpting. I'm like in the Zen mode, trying to trying to figure it out. You're right, Brennan. Okay. She's looking a little up, and it's pushing this up a little too. Then, it, of course, it gets pushed down into the eyeball. There we go. It's like this fine balance because this is sticking out. There we go. What's that purple in her hair? I was told it's a it's a comb, like a hair comb. <laughs> Perfect. All right. space under here man the slightest little movement changes so much at this point it's like a constant back and forth battle and like I, I tell my students it's like uh, it's like it's like a safe. It's like cracking a safe. You gotta, you gotta figure out the right combinations to unlock what her face looks like, right? Yeah, the millimeter refinement phase, where every little tiny little thing makes it makes such a big difference. I want to put, I want to put a little bit more in her ear here. Just to kind of off, just to. Turn off Lazy Mouse. Yeah, 
something like that. I didn't even notice that little triangle. Um, who am I making it for? It's I'm making it kind of for myself. Uh, it's just a personal project. But as you can see, it's um, per Pernelli Orem from, um, I think she's from France. But this is a draw this in your style, so I thought I would. This is like sculpt this in your style. Making some big adjustments now. Sometimes I feel like a, a golf commentator. Making some big adjustments now. No, Jace, I'm not. I make, uh, this is, if, if anything, I'll 3D print it, but it's just for uh, render. I really need to pull out her brow. There we go. Okay. That's going to help a lot, I think. I need to match the brows to it. Because all of a sudden her forehead looks naked. Naked. Yeah, right now it's all about reacting. So putting something in, making a change, reacting to it, see if that's what it is. Um, looking at basically and comparing everything. How many polys is it? Um, not to be rude, but I don't know. <laughs> I mean, it's like the total points is 229,000, but that's I don't look at that at all. I just try and keep it so my machine doesn't cry when I work on this stuff. But I don't really get into polygon counts until I'm making the final model, if I'm making a game resolution model or something like that. I'll squish this down a little bit more. I'll cheat it. But when I'm in, yeah, like I said, when I'm in high poly mode, I really don't pay too much attention to what poly counts are. Okay, I'm going to pull her ear down like this. And then let's, I'll build that purple thing really quick. Naked! <laughs> Okay, I think I'm going to build this just out of some squish spheres. Because it looks kind of like it has four squish spheres, different shapes, making that stuff. Let's grab this color. Whoops, I don't, I don't want it to be in symmetry though. Can you share the menus? Yeah, um, I give them away for free over on my website at 3dcharacterworkshop.com. So, um, and it comes with this custom menu right here. And after you download it, it takes you to a page with all the instructions on how to in install it and how to use it and all that kind of stuff. So thanks, Neil, there you go. And if you guys are watching from Facebook, I cannot see your comments because my 
my chat stopped working. So maybe I can go over there and, and see. It just stopped working. I'm sorry, I don't know why. <laughs> okay. Anyway, hopefully uh, people over on Facebook can... You can either come over onto Twitch and watch or YouTube and watch if you'd like. Duplicate. Oh, this one's a little wider. Dark ego, dark ego. That's fine. Yeah, whatever. It's it, the user interface I handed out for you to have a place to start with, if you'd like, and then you can uh, customize it from there. All you want. Whoa, did I put those in the same group? Yes. Gosh dang. I'll group those. There we go. For somebody who doesn't have access to ZBrush license, would the skills learned in Autodesk Mudbox be transferable? Yeah, they're they're pretty yeah, they're they're completely different programs. I mean, yeah, sculpting is sculpting, but it's different. Yep, what Brendan said. <laughs> so even even getting better at drawing will help you as a core art skill. Uh, yeah, Tenshi, they're in, they're on the, it's on the download page after you sign up. So, um, after you sign up to get them, they're just, let me see. So here's the, this is the download page right here. Um, this is after you put in your email and there's a video right here and it shows you exactly how to install them and how to use them and all that kind of stuff. So you can check that out if you'd like. Okay, now I'm going to make this kind of look somewhat like a hairbrush. Okay, let's make sure this is turned off because I want them to kind of go and point together here. Not that you'll see it underneath the hair, but I just kind of want it to logically make sense. And then I want it to arc it from this side. What's the easiest way to repose? I wouldn't repose it. Um, I would, what I t typically do if I need to make several poses is I'll just make the character in one pose, which is a neutral pose. And then I will save that out as its own file. And then, then I will start with that every single pose, or I will uh, make a low resolution character out of it and then rig it inside of Maya or something like that. And then pose, pose with a rig. swoop up maybe even closer this direction okay 
Yeah, no problem, Igor. Igor. a little shelf back here just to get that change of direction working better and I need to I need to fix this back here I don't know what's going on with it go The reference image has her head a little more towards her posterior as if her back were arched. Oh, thanks. Yeah, so just so you know, it's usually, and I don't mean to make excuses for myself, but usually I'm not in front of a large audience and I'm, I just have my headphones on and I'm focused and I can sit and look back and forth. But when I'm trying to like um, discuss what I'm doing back and forth, uh, it's, it makes it a little more difficult, and um, this is probably, what is it? F this is four hours of work. This has been done in four hours total, so um, usually this takes a lot longer than that, and I, I can really dig in and scrutinize if I have more time. So, um, But yes, I appreciate the feedback for sure, but I just wanted to kind of kind of let you know like what what the difference is between like a, a professional working atmosphere versus twitch streaming <laughs> you know what I'm saying but I indeed appreciate the feedback for sure yeah there's about a bajillion things I can see I need to fix I just got to figure out how much how much time I have. Sometimes I'll actually take it offline after I'm done streaming and and do the what Brennan was calling the micro adjustments for a long time. Cause all that stuff really happens in the micro adjustment. 99%. 99%. No, this one this one took a long time to actually get get to you know where I liked it at all. Yeah, like I need to take this whole entire, her whole shoulders and everything and kind of turn that whole thing down, raise her up a little bit more. Show stream the start and after. Oh, the start was like a sphere. <laughs> I can show you right now. It looked like this. <laughs> but yeah, I know what you're saying. Like, uh. Well, I can show you, like, there you go. She's all purple. That's pretty nice. <laughs> so this is how I started. It was a, something like this. I block out in primitive shapes. And then just push it and push it and combine it. Until it looks something like this. Look at that. See, Brennan, that's where, <laughs> that's where it was last stream. Like, what? Is, what am I even doing? Now it's more like this, not that much better. Her forehead really looks painful now. Sometimes I will hide stuff. I will hide everything and come back in and, and try and fix this stuff. 
because then you know if it looks good without any accessories on it, like eyebrows and stuff, that it'll look a lot better when you get all that stuff on there. Yeah, yeah. Cover that up. <laughs> anyway, yeah, she's getting there, but still got a ways to go. Make that part go up and around. And for this hair, when I when I finally get to it, I'm just going to use the carve, I think, this chisel brush. I just cut into the surface to do these lines. But I am going to use just her block out hair. I don't think I'm going to go in and lay down individual strands. Maybe a couple flyaway hairs just to lay on top of the surface, but I'm not going to go in and use. I was thinking about using the, the Macon hairbrush by Benjamin Hale and Chris Whittaker, but I don't think I'm going to do that with this one. All right, do you have any last questions? I'm about to wrap it up for the day. How do you put a different material on for the eyes? Um, you just, you have to switch, you have to switch materials. I did it earlier in the stream if you wanna watch it back, but essentially you just, I select this hard paintbrush, change it to material, which is right here, and then switch to material, whichever one you want and then fill that object with the material by clicking on this button, fill object. And then it'll just fill that object with a material. And then when you switch back to skin shade, it will look like this. And it'll have that material filled in the, on the eyes. So right now I just have toy plastic on the eyes. Need to make her cheeks a little higher. higher hmm like I said she's getting there but she's got a ways to go still make this even smaller That, this, this is so, her mouth is so cheated that it's, uh, it's quite the challenge to make it look normal. Um, Allison, I'm probably going to, uh, I'm probably going to start a new one. I'll probably take this offline and do it because like I said, I, I need to, I'll need to focus and really figure out what's what's going on, what I need to change with it. Now she's looking a little monkey-ish. You want to follow? Maybe I'll record it. I need to also lock the camera into place to figure out where I want, uh, where I want the you know the final render to be, so then I can make her eyes look right at the camera like I want. Make sure that hair is coming out from behind. <laughs> I 
<laughs> yeah, there we go. All right, I'll I'll think about it, you guys. Yeah, you can just kind of see already some of these changes I make. It's just, it depends. <laughs> pull that in, pull that in. All right, you guys. Well, I'm going to wrap it up for now. Um, thank you so much for watching. Um, I will catch you guys next Monday. It's been fun. I'm glad you guys had a good Easter weekend. If you celebrate that holiday. Um, let's see, what else? Um, yeah, no worries. Thanks, you guys. Thanks for hanging out. I really appreciate you guys coming and hanging out with me every Monday. It means a lot. Because I know there's a million things that you could be doing, but you're spending it hanging out with me. Um, so uh, one more time, I'm gonna I'm gonna let you know that I have this user interface for free. If you want to go get it, it's over at 3dcharacterworkshop.com. I also teach an online workshop, which is the 3D Character Workshop, and you can also check that out. There's a you can go watch a very quick presentation that will show you everything that you need to know about the course, and if you want to enroll. And uh, again, thank you, Pixelogic, very much for allowing me to stream here on your channel. And uh, if you guys want to check out ZBrush, they have a trial version. I think the trial version is only for 2018. I'm not sure. But they've also added really cool uh, subscription options. So you don't have to pay the full price if you don't want to right now. If you just want to try it for a couple months before actually purchasing the whole thing. But they also do have the um the full license that you can still buy and it's as usual it's updates have been free forever fantastic so all right guys thanks dan thanks neil again for everything um and brendan thanks for hanging out sean we'll uh take care and we'll see you next monday all right have a good one we'll see ya <laughs>